Just like a pallet, we land shit down. My main bitch and then I shocked all town. Alright, man. I need y'all to like, comment, share, subscribe. Please, 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 please subscribe. Please. I'm begging. I'm begging. I'm begging. I'm begging. I'm begging, bro. Please. Alright, I'm starting the reaction. What's funny is this is like you gonna hear what Boosie talk about. You mentioned your top five. Who is Boosie's top five? Um, why everybody been doing top fives ever since I've been talking about top five? I'm not mad. I'm okay with setting my trend. Who's the top five in Tulsa? But so happened is five people. Y'all not doing top three, top four. Y'all doing top five. I feel like that's very ironic that everybody is talking about who's they top five. Like, why are y'all asking? I'm a, I'm a le but I'm a legend. I got so many views, bro. I'm about to, I got, I got to make it. Boosie. Oh, man. Boosie. <laughs> For sure. Boosie. Tupac, DMX. Uh, juvenile. Juvenile always been my, like, I know every jam neighbor, Julius CD. <laughs> Almost. Um. That's four. Four. Everybody always gets stuck at this number five every time. They had to literally clip because they probably like they probably clip like five to six seconds. Yep. And he about to see it quick. I don't know who five, bro. That five spot that needs substitution. That's the point. That five spot is substitutions. You can put any, you can put like 20 niggas at that five spot. That's how crazy it be. Like. When you give somebody a, a chance to pick five, it kind of like, uh, because you don't want that last spot just to go to somebody that could have went to somebody else. So it's good they had that breathing room and pick four. Mount Rushmore, whole time. You know, yeah. we got the we got the Mount Rushmore though for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, I said it already. Is this a book in my nose, y'all? I'm really from the trenches. I dig a book in front of all y'all. Ooh. Uh, look at this bug. I'm I'm a dirty nigga. I'm dirty as fuck. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then I got the nerd that still had a bug on my finger, bro. Well, you mentioned Tupac. I think I've seen you touch on Tupac a few times, but you know. Can you kind of go into, you know, his inspiration and, you know, kind of what he meant to you as an artist? Uh, Tupac was everything to me, bro. Like, you know, he's my favorite actor, my favorite rapper. Nigga, facts, nigga, and Boosie, nigga, my favorite rapper, nigga, my favorite actor, nigga. No, I'm Captain. You probably ain't my favorite actor because it ain't like you just play hella movies or even got more than, like, three. I think you got playing, like, one or two movies. How many movies do you play in, Boosie? I ain't even watched your movie. That's crazy. I'm mad. Favorite person. You mentioned. Oh, I rewind it. Studio, you know. And I never, I never knew that till later in life. And I always had that work ethic. But I looked up to Tupac, bro. And and um, when he died, I was 13 and. You know, at, at that time, that's when you were a real fan of 13 and 14. That's when you like. Music is everything. Music is everything. Not even that, nigga. If you a fan of anything, like, nigga, when I was 13, 14 years old, bro, I, I was a Kobe Bryant fan. How? Hold on. I, I got to look this up. Okay, when I was 13, that was probably 2011. 2010, but when I, I, I watched basketball when I was 11, 10 years old, I watched Kobe win that championship in 07. I was there. Bro, so yeah. I lost him at a time when, uh, you know, that's when you a real fan of somebody like that, that, that age 13 or 17, 
Like you crazy about the artist, and um, I mean he was just everything to me. Everybody knew it, you know. I mean, all my everybody knew how much I loved Tupac all through the hood. Yeah, I remember he died. Uh, is every time I got shot, he got shot. I thought he would live. I probably thought he was immortal or some shit. I don't know. I mean, even when he got shot the last time, uh, I thought he was gonna live. live. I was dribbling a basketball under the bridge, walking from uh, Sports Academy. And uh, dude passed on me in the car and rolled down the window and said, Boosie, your boy Tupac just died. And uh, i never forget it was like yesterday, man. I, I picked up the ball and I, and I jogged all the way home to try to go see the news. I jogged all the way home, crying, yeah. Damn. You loved Tupac so much that you hated Big and Puff at the time. Yeah, 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 <coughs> yeah, yeah. I felt like they was my ops at the time. You know, I'm a, <coughs> this nigga I'm a kid, bro. You know, I know they beefing. I didn't know nothing. Oh, all I'm thinking is Puff did it, Big did it, Big shot. You know, I didn't, I'm a kid, I'm 13 years old. This a this a this a five year run of nothing but Tupac nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. You know you know how kids be. You don't be knowing what the f be going on. Oh, Tom. You know if he don't like you, I don't like you. I don't care who you are. It's a real fan, bro. You know, like I hope I got real fans like that. The fans get on thing and be. The, the fans do it today. Just the beehives and the Nicki Minaj fans. Like, we ain't got to know what the story is. Don't f with him. Don't f with her. Like, I'm against you. And that's how I was with Tupac, man. I mean, everybody he <coughs> disliked, I disliked. <coughs> and that's how it should be. If you a real fan, real day one fan of somebody. Protect him at all costs, man. Like, comment, and share, nigga. And don't screen record and repost that book of I'll pick it in the middle of the video. On a shirt.